What's happening, YouTube and home theater enthusiasts? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. Here it is. I'm about to do the Raf Cave update three. This is the current configuration of my Raf Cave, and I want to take you guys for another tour. Uh, this will be a descriptive piece by piece component by component kind of a layout I might have done this before but I'm gonna do it again for the new the new viewers that just pop in to see what is this raft cave so I'm very excited to show you what this is all about uh, it's been a long time coming it's it's just uh, a labor of love of me raft of my raft cave and of course it's not done yet right there's always something around the corner that I want to add but for right now, I think I'm pretty comfortable to show you this third update. So, without further ado, I'm going to take you on this ride here. And I'm just going to show you the different areas. Uh, one thing I want to suggest is if you have time to look at my previous home theater videos of when I first started, when I first moved into this house, what it looked like before now. Huge difference. I would not even imagine how it could look now of when I first moved in and I was so blown away by my big screen. So without further ado, let's go. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys and I hope you like it. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Down the stairs to the Raft Cave. What I have is a uh, black velvet uh, material that I put on the walls to darken the room and I have acoustic panels throughout so we go down the stairs let's take right here matrix poster ninja Gaiden, terminator Bruce Lee spend the both two oh prime so right away, we have my Blu-ray and Ultra Blu-ray movie collection. As you can see, all unopened, all sealed, unopened, uh, except for Deadpool, my very first 4K Blu-ray otherwise sealed the reason why I'm holding out for my 4k projector I'm saving for it so this area here Minnesota Vikings fan this is my um, it's my TV watching uh, basically sit on the couch and watch my 82 inch Mitsubishi DLP um, what I have is infinity speakers infinity uh, interlude speakers with the built-in subwoofer 12 inch sub and I'm using uh, pioneer up firing Atmos speaker for my fake Atmos right now uh, that's my router there DC 1900. A few signs here Dark Knight, Bane, Vikings, Dolby Digital. Gears of War 3, of course, my favorite franchise. DTS, Vikes, Spider Man. This is the uh, Pandora's box from the collector's edition of God of War. And there's a second uh, speaker with the sub. So. Those are the old uh, monster cable or monster uh, 3D glasses. Picture by DLP. Uh, it's my butt kicker amp for the uh, the single butt kicker in the couch. This is the uh, Pioneer uh, 1120K. It's a decent receiver. Uh, it doesn't have uh, Dolby Atmos or DTSX. Uh, something I'm waiting for to replace, but it's been a great receiver. Uh, it's my Nvidia Shield. 
This is a uh, HDMI uh, switcher, five-way switcher, and this is my HDMI splitter. Goes out to four monitors. Uh, this empty space right here was the Xbox One original. I moved that upstairs. This one's going to be the Xbox One S when I get the Xbox One X in November. Uh, PS4. A few gigabit Ethernet switchers. The hop over sling. Uh, Wii U, which I don't really play too much. It's there. Got a single controller and the rechargeable controllers there. Uh, Gears of War 3 Collector's Edition. Uh, an Affinity speaker right there. And let's see, connect PS4 camera and the Wii U sensor. This Mitsubishi TV is a DLP, uh, 82 inch, awesome TV. Uh, DLPs were the bomb when they were uh, replacing the uh, rear projection sets, and I think it's fantastic. There's no motion blur, it's great picture, deep blacks, clear, and it's a huge screen, it fits great. So I'm going to roll with it. All right, so this is my, uh, yeah, this is my casual uh, TV watching TV. So I'm going to go over here to the theater component area. Uh, what we have here, a few signs there, some signs in the back. Gears, Bruce, Batman, Tekken collectors. So um, basically you got, uh, starting from the top, you know, Sydney, this is just a basic L L LCD monitor. Just kind of shows me what's going on. If I don't want to turn the projector on, I just want to, Turn it on real quick, do some settings. Uh, the Sony 3D Blu-ray player. This is the Denon, uh, it's AVR X4300H. Amazing receiver. Uh, this one uh, goes up to 11.2 processing for the four channels of Dolby Atmos. Uh, it's the Carver Premier five channel amplifier, THX certified. I use that for uh, the front three speakers and the two sides. Uh, over here, this is the butt kicker amp that powers the three butt kickers behind the theater seats. And uh, if you haven't heard what butt kickers are, definitely look into them because they definitely provide some rumble in your theater seats. So you got three of them right there. And they're just hooked up with the uh, speaker wire going up to the, uh, to the amp here. Uh, this is an Outlaw 7 channel amplifier that powers uh, my four Atmos ceiling speakers and the two rears. Yeah, okay. And uh, this is the Monster Power AVS 2000 signature series. What this does, it's a voltage stabilizer. Um, basically, um, it tells you how many voltages you're getting into your system and uh, it tells you how much voltage it's adding to maintain the 120 so what I'm doing with this as this right here is powering basically all my components downstairs so it's pretty pretty awesome if you need a little extra power you want to maintain it that's awesome uh, and over here we have the monster power signature HTPS 7000 this is my uh, clean power supply uh, this basically cleans all the noise Search protection, basically top-notch uh, protection for my system. So that is the equipment area. Let's check out the theater room. Over here now is the main theater room. So what I have is a Optima, currently an Optima HD33 projector, full 1080p, 3D. Get back out of here. I have uh, the velvet, uh, black velvet on the side walls, top trim, and on the side walls here, I have the acoustic panels, three of them on the, the right, and four on the left. And up top, I have an acoustic cloud. I put four panels on the ceiling to reflect any reflections or absorb any reflections on the ceiling. Uh, also, I have uh, four uh, Klipsch uh, surround Atmos speakers that I put up myself. 
uh, basically using some uh, some screws in the ceiling and why you're running across cost effective it's not professionally done pretty tough to get wires in this uh, fi finished ceiling so that's kind of what I did poor man's atmos uh, the screen we have is an elite screen uh, it's a fixed frame 135 inch screen the front speakers we have are Klipsch uh, the right is the RF7 the center is the RC7 the left is the RF7 uh, subwoofers we have uh, four on the left three Klipsch sub 12s and RSW15 uh, the, the three there are the down firing and the RSW15 is a front and rear firing on the right we have another RSW15 sub front and rear I have them on top of the uh, the risers there they're called great grandma risers keep them off the floor for a little isolation and I have uh, some pedestal platforms on the feet of the subs there uh, the seats are uh, full leather power reclined uh, seats curved configuration I have these uh, just seat mats to you know to keep uh, food or whatnot from getting on the leather uh, but very comfortable seats and they're all linked together in a curved configuration so uh, and then the butt kickers in the back of course so all in all this is a uh, awesome awesome sound especially with the four ceiling atmos speakers you're like right in the middle uh, the side surrounds are uh, Klipsch RS7 side surround speakers And on the ceiling is the RS7 center rears. And I have those mounted in the ceiling with the wire coming down. So, okay. So, uh, yeah. So that's two of the three areas. Uh, of the uh, Gears of War. Lancer and Retro Lancer, Pacific Rim Banner, Predator, my all-time favorite movie. All right, so that's that area, equipment area, home theater area, and now the area that I'm pretty much always in and you see in my intro videos is this area. So pretty busy here uh, what we have here is the uh, Vizio P50 50 inch 4k here we have the 65 inch Sony uh, XBR 900 e uh, we have a lot of stuff to go over <laughs> uh, let's uh, start from the back here so uh, predator scorpion sub-zero collector's edition Monster Cable Trophy, I have one from work. Alien. Killer Instinct boxes. Speakers I have, um, these are the Infinity. Uh, let's see what these are. The Infinity Entra 1s. We have, uh, put this remote control away. Here. Uh, so Infinity Intra, uh, left, center, right, Vizio P50. This is my uh, Razer illuminated keyboard, uh, Razer mouse pad illuminated. It's a Logitech mouse. I, I like the, um, the thumb wheel. Let me sit down. Oh, speaking of sitting down, this is my gaming chair. This is the uh, GT Omega Racing. Uh, this is the X, the Master series chair and I put these extra cushions for more lumbar support and more more butt cushion after long periods of sitting down okay uh, and also little knickknacks we have uh, that's the Alexa uh, this is the remote control for the Vizio uh, these are tri grips that I use to raise up the TV enough to fit all this underneath here uh, these speakers, this is Eclipse 2.1. 
uh, system that I have hooked up to Alexa. So if I do want to watch or listen to music, I can play that in independently. Uh, the subwoofer is below here, right back there, the sub for those speakers. Uh, there's my uh, HD camcorder from Sony, which I normally use for my YouTube videos, but I'm going to use my uh, Galaxy um, S8 Plus for a camera and see how it goes for a while. Uh, these are my you know headphones that I made a video of. Those are the uh, Razer, uh, I forget the name of course, but they're very comfortable. Uh, my PC's down here, a couple hard drives, that's the Infinity subwoofer. Uh, interlude 12 there uh, back there we have a gigabit switch uh, blu-ray drive for the PC for the predator sculpture uh, over here we have the um, Gears of War edition sorry about that Gears of War edition uh, Xbox one s uh, this is the ps4 pro that's the Roku ultra for streaming above it we have the monster power uh, search protector Above that's the audio source two channel amp for my Dolby Atmos Infinity speakers right above me. Uh, that's the uh, butt kicker amp for <laughs> the butt kicker gamer 2 rumble clamps onto your your seat and it shakes the shakes the chair with with rumble, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then this receiver is the Denon AVR X4200W, which is a pretty awesome receiver because it, it passes zone 2 to my Sony XBR. Oh man, this TV, I can't even get in. I mean, this TV is fantastic. I haven't made a video about it at all, but um, it's pretty spectacular as far as color, sharpness, HDR, brightness black levels you name it this tv has it all it's just incredible and of course there's a polka audio soundbar to install here i put the led uh, backlight behind so i can change the uh the light depending on the source pretty awesome uh over here uh and then the speaker in the back here uh, those are infinity speakers that i have hooked up to the uh to this area here so i do the surround sound there uh, up here, some figures, uh, Godzilla, Hulk, Robocop, Iron Man, Hulkbuster, and one of the demons from Doom, some Bruce Lee post figures back there, what's up Kratos? Jago, this is the, the light up Jago, makes sounds and lights up with the game, Scorpion, my all time favorite character in Mortal Kombat, double PS4 uh, con controllers back there. Uh, this is my Gears of War little area here. Marcus Phoenix. You got the uh, Rockstar Energy collector, collector cans, all sealed, unopened, one through four. And we have the four Gears games back there. Collector Edition 1, Collector Edition 2, Collector Edition 3, and Ultimate Edition 4. Uh, down here we have the uh, Killer Instinct uh, Arcade Tournament 2 Arcade Stick. And, a, and a, the, the collection, the pin collection back there, with all the starting characters. That took a while to get. That was an awesome collection there. And this is a Klipsch uh, down firing Klipsch uh, sub 10 subwoofer. Right there. Uh, what's up, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader? All right, let's continue on here in a sec. So a few more things back here. Um, so these are my two Infinity speakers. These are the center rear uh, Infinity Entros. Uh, top there you have uh, Kratos and Ryu Street Fighter. Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, which I still haven't beat yet. I really want to play. Uh, a few more Bruce Lee figurines, some signs, plaques I got on eBay. There's a Freddy Jason. Another Infinity surround speaker. And going down, we got uh, a few more knickknacks. Raphael there, some guys. That's the uh, one of the plaques. Legacy bricks at the U.S. Bank Stadium. And uh, this sub here is the uh, Klipsch Sub 10. 
So I have four subs back here. The uh, clips down firing sub 10, another clip sub 10 there. I have the uh, smaller clip sub there. And then under here is the uh, the wireless sub for the sound bar. So I have a lot of subs over here. And uh, this is my temporary uh, Sony XBR gaming chair when I'm watching 4K Netflix or something. Uh, it's just your standard recliner. And I'm waiting for my newer new chair to arrive and I'll do a video when I get that one. And then we have the uh, wireless surround sound speakers for the Polka Audio soundbar. And these are true 5.1. It's pretty impressed. I just have them on some stands there. And this uh, basic DVD collection back here that I've had for a while. Some Neo. All the Matrix movies down there. Alright, boys. Guys, uh, that's about it. Um, of the back area. PC area. Alright. Alright, guys. I forgot to show you one more thing. This is um, my remote control. Uh, for the main theater basically it's the harmony uh, 650 remote my activities uh, basically are you know watch TV which is dish network um, I have a I have a, a, a sensor here that sends a, a signal to uh, the receiver to turn it on and the uh, the dish network right there to turn that on and so that will uh, that will turn on everything and change the inputs and also it is light controlled um, so basically I go over to whoop, I go over to the light controller and I can do all on all off and that'll take it all the way down so that's my light control I have a sensor right over here that sends a signal to turn the lights off so that's how I do light control and then um, all the rest of my remotes are in this drawer uh, starting from the right uh, right is the Denon receiver remote the Sony remote the dish network remote that I have uh, set for the Sony uh, soundbar area. This is the uh, NVIDIA Shield remote, the Vid Vizio TV remote, Roku remote, uh, Dish Network uh, voice control remote. This is the LED strip remote for all the colors and designs. Sony camcorder remote. That's the HDMI uh, uh, switcher remote for, uh, one is for NVIDIA Shield, two is Dish Network, uh, three is Xbox One, four is ps4 and five is the wii u and then the polka audio soundbar remote here and then the keyboard for the shield ah so there's my remotes and then i keep all my uh my physical copy games in here i don't have much a few ps4 and some xbox ones some music okay All right, guys, thanks for watching again. This is Raf, and this is the Raf Cave. I appreciate uh, the likes, the new subscribers, and any comments you have on future videos that I should do. Now that you've seen everything, what would you like me to uh, talk about in particular? Um, otherwise, I'm saving up for a 4K projector. That's going to be my next big thing. I think a 4K projector on the big screen is going to be phenomenal. Without further ado, that's it. Uh, thanks again for coming on this journey with me. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Take care.